Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet again another stream, I apologise it's been so long, uh, it's it's been so long since I streamed and I apologise deeply. I basically need a, a kind of a flattish area for a horde base that I'm going to go with. Uh, I've got two in mind that you've more than likely prob probably seen, uh, it's just a, just a generic... Um, just a generic one where you kind of walk up some stairs, um, you walk over a platform, then you walk over another platform, and there's going to be two uh, kind of jackhammer things, um, turrets, if you want, uh, that hits the zombies off the thing, um, and then there's another platform, and then it's my base. So, so that's the plan. So I want to try and implement two, uh, two horde bases that I saw try and put them together. I haven't tested it at all, so this could be a major flop, it could be a major fail, I could end up dead in two seconds, or this works very well, and I become the king of the <laughs> of what bases, one way or another. Let's start it right here. The two bases I've got in mind is one where you go up the ramps, you've got your turrets to knock off, and then you've got your area that you can go into, it's kind of an AFK, kind of not an AFK. You have to get the auto turrets for it to be an AFK, um, but at the same time you also can kill the zombies on your own, some kind of thing, blah blah blah. The second one that I saw, and I've got this in my main world, and it, I haven't actually got to the point where I can fully use it on a horde knight, because that's those days and uh, our increments. Uh, real life hour increments um, where in here it's just a 30 minutes um, but that's basically you use these puppies go into shape go dome and you use these little corner things that apparently if used correctly and put into a certain way because with zombie AI or with AI in seven days when you're on top of something, their first instinct is to knock down whatever you're on top of. So if you have a if you have a five by five pillar and you've got four pillars of blocks going up, like for example, uh, if you've got a block like frame, if you've got a block like this, you know, like that, and then you've got a platform on top they're going to start knocking down these blocks and because they've got a lot of surface area it's going to be a lot easier for them to do so if you use those dome corner things it makes it ten times harder for them so they can't actually hit it without hitting each other number one um, and number two because it's considered as a block it makes it easier to build bases so how I've gone about and done it in the main world which is a little bit different to what you'll see on say uh, someone that's on YouTube for example how I've gone about and done it or how I'm going to end up doing it anyway uh, you dig a 9 by 9 area 9 by 9 7 by 7 area you dig a 7 by 7 area you can make it smaller you can make it bigger as much as you want it's entirely up to you I might just do a 5 by 5 and show you the bare basics that I'm going to go for and then I can always expand on from there makes it a lot easier. I'll show you what I mean. That's one, two, three, four, five. Cool. And then obviously you do another five this way. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, cool. So this is the this is the long and tedious part, is digging out this small tiny hole that you need. And without proper skills to bloody pain in the ass. Dig out this middle hole. Not that I know if this actually does anything, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But for the sake of continuity, that I do in virtually every other place that I do, I'm gonna do that. So you use your use your corners, and you place one in each corner like this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, cool. And then on top of it gets very finicky on how to do it. The other way you could do it is go shape, go into 
frame do one, two, three. If you're doing three, if not, do four, because I'm doing four, I go four up. You can always take them down because they're just frames. So you go back into your dome, get here. So when you change it, you need to change it to be advanced. So you it goes in that corner. So you have one in your, if you're standing kind of on the block itself, you've got uh, one to your bottom uh, bottom right. And if you're looking, if you turn around, it'd be to your top right. And then obviously you do the same on this side, um, except I believe this one is up there. So then you've got it that way. So then I think you kind of just alternate it. And you just kind of do that. I believe. I could be highly wrong. I'm pretty sure that's how the guys got it. I'd have to double check it. Yeah, there it is. It's called the AFK floating base, this basically. So, uh, get rid of that. Yeah, that's how he's got it. That's what I need to do. So then when you want to place it on the next one, all you kind of got to do is look at it. And then you can obviously just place it from there. So then you can go one, two, three, four, and look at it, five. So you kind of have to look at the actual triangle part itself before you can put it down. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. So look at that side, line her up. two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and five. So there you go. So then obviously they can run through it. They get stuck a little bit. They have to then try and hit that, but because it's so small, the zombies don't really, um, they can't really get to it. So, which is great, which is fantastic. Um, I will actually be upgrading all these frames. I'm just putting them down first just to kind of show you what uh, I need to do. I'll upgrade them after I've put them all down because there's no point in really upgrading them. Well, it kind of is, I guess. Yeah, see, repairing doesn't... Yeah, I didn't think it did. Don't get me wrong, it looks very stupid and very weird, but... You know, it's all part of the part of the fun, you know. The 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 whole idea behind this base solely is the fact that you have um, iron bars, which I know is a is a long way to get to. If anyone who knows uh, how iron bars work, uh, or how long it takes to get iron bars, so you don't actually need that. Once you've got one up as far as you need it, you can go as high as you want. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I could be wrong. You can, you can pretty much go as high as you want. I'm going to go forward because you don't really need to go any higher. Um, plus the fact that the way to get in is using a ladder. But you don't just use ladders because obviously zombies can get up to it. So the way you do it, I'll show you in a second. So easy way to do it. Build your first layer. Uh, upgrade them all to what you needed to do. Build your second layer and upgrade it all to what you needed to do. I'm going to use just wood for now. I've got plenty of wood for now. Four and five. One, two, three. Four and five. Five. Oh. See, that can happen, but because I need one there, I don't need one there at all. But because these are frames, just pick them straight up which helps tremendously. Five. Oh, don't need that one. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, cool. Alrighty. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there very, very slowly, but I'm getting there. Three, four, 
tree. It's very finicky. Four and five. Very finicky. So three, four, five. Um, shape. We go ladder. And obviously you'd want. Don't want that one. You want. Yeah, this one. So you want that one. And then you need a frame. So you don't get it up close. You get it roughly around here. And that way you can just kind of jump up and you're on. And do that. So then you've got three blocks there. Do that one and do one more ladder. And it should, should. There you go. So then if I pull out the torch, you kind of see you've got your two ladders here. Zombies can't get to the ladder, which is great. Um, and they don't really Zombies don't really jump, jump that way. So because you've got them two blocks away, they don't really kind of go, Ooh, cool ladder. Um, they just kind of jump up here and better be better boom drop. Is that five? Yeah, it is. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, cool. Just want to make sure. My goodness. All right, chill. God damn. they consider them as blocks because technically they're blocks you know what you like that chopping of tree not sonic which is very sus by the way you like me not chopping that tree uh, you like me chopping that tree I'm gonna do the same to this yeah. apparently I'm not Oof. hello fellas here we go here's a good here's a good uh, good test I guess are they all going to come over here from, from this far away? They should, right? Oh. Here's a good test on how this system works. Not that I believe in it. Oh. So guess what? It doesn't really work. Stop it. I think I've put them in the wrong positions. I don't know how I feel about that system now. They might have updated it. Chicken. Hawkeye over here, man. Avenger, Avengers who? You know? That's who I've been waiting for. Oh, missed him. No, oh, missed him again. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Got him. What a bitch. Huh? Like a beach. And now if I go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just make sure. Yes, I can. Cool.
idiot. So we're gonna end it here. Tomorrow, I'm gonna find out how this thing actually works from the video, because I didn't actually watch the video. I should have watched the video, but I didn't watch the video. I might need to do some more material gathering. So clay, stone, all that to get it up to, uh, to get it up to the standard that it needs to be, because I don't think it should have been wood. I think it should have been cobblestone, um, because obviously the difference between uh, cobblestone and uh, wood is very, very different. Put you in there. So here's a wooden L. So let's find, say, that one, right? That's up to 1500, right? That's up to 500. Right, and I need, and I need cobblestone for that. So, I'm going to say it was meant to be cobblestone. It shouldn't have been wood. It should have been cobblestone. Because 1500 compared to 500, that's a thousand health. Anyway, thank you everybody for joining me for tonight's stream, and for those of you who watch this on YouTube later on, thank you for joining me for here. If you like, like the video, subscribe, and as per usual, follow me on Twitch. Appreciate it. Peace out.